Hey there you guys, welcome back. Uh, today we're going to look at the uh, the bulbs that we planted a few weeks ago uh, and I'll show you why it's a good good idea to uh, plant them early before they go outside because they're really slow to take hold. Uh, so I think we planted them two, maybe three weeks ago and uh, yeah, without further ado, let's just check them out. First, we have this, uh, blit is it Blatilla or Blatilia striata? The, uh, the orchid. Um, uh, is it a Japanese ground orchid, I think? Uh, the leaves are growing really, really nice. Uh, we've got a second shoot somewhere in... right here by the tip of my finger. Uh, hopefully it will, uh, it will take hold. But a uh, nice, strong, healthy looking plant. No flower buds just yet, but we'll see how it goes. Again, I'm going to plant this in its pot into the ground so that I can easily dig it up for the winter. Um, I don't know that I'm going to leave it outside. I'll probably put it in the garage just to be uh, on the safe side. Uh, <laughs> here I've got the uh, the pot of uh, ammo for phallus. And you probably can't see it, but right, right here on the tip of my finger is the uh, the baby growth that's coming up. So it's, it's not very big, but it's on its way. Um, we've got the caladiums. Uh, this is the one that was there when we first planted it. It's still, it's still kind of small. I've, I've finally got a new, uh, new growth here. I'm sure this one is the white one and then this one is the red one. Uh, so yeah, very, very uh, long time to get these to grow. They really require a lot of heat in order to take off. And same thing here, more of the caladiums. Right by my finger there's a spike coming up. And in this pot that's the only one. So it's uh, it's almost the end of May now and I'm just getting that. It, had I planted these directly into the ground I would be waiting about a month for them to, to come up. So start your bulbs early in the house. And then here we go. I'm not going to show you all the pots but uh, most of my anemones are looking really, really nice. I can't wait to get blooms. Those will come in the summer, but the leaves are really, really cool. They look like parsley to me, uh, so I can't wait to plant these into the ground. Those will probably happen this weekend. Um, but yeah, very excited. Uh, as for the freesias, freesias still haven't uh, done anything. All of my freesias, I keep digging around lightly to see if I hit any... Uh, to see if I hit any uh, growth points. But so far, nothing. I'm very disappointed with that. Here's another free chip. Yeah, nothing. Even when I flip it over, sometimes you can see roots developing before you see growth on the top. I don't see any roots developing at all. And, uh, hmm, I've got one more thing over there. I have the dahlia that I planted in the ground. I'll show you what the dahlia looks like. So come on over, see that, and uh, yeah, hope you enjoyed this update. I know I sure did, because uh, it means that summer is, is on its way. So, and I will give you a, uh, an update on the gardens very, very soon. Uh, so yeah, anyway, stay tuned for the, uh, for the dahlia. It's looking really good. So here's the dahlia. It's doing really, really well. Uh, it's looking very, very healthy, very strong. This is where the, the lilac was planted before. Uh, so it's a great place for it. It's going to get mostly sun. Uh, this gets sun in the morning until, I don't know, until about 3 in the afternoon, 4 in the afternoon. So it should be the perfect place. However, as I pan back here, the tree peony is going to uh, take a lot of its sun. So we'll see how it grows. But this, this is supposed to grow uh, taller. So this, uh, the dahlia should grow taller than the, uh, the tree peony. So we should be okay. And then the columbine shouldn't really uh, affect anything either. So anyway, hopefully you enjoyed this update, and uh, stay tuned for more. I want to have a verbena on this side and a verbena on the other side. So I'll put the verbena here.